You want the best? You've got the best, is what we would say about KISS if they were here right now. But instead, from Super 7 Ultimate Edition, the worst line, we've got Batula. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today, from the worst line, we've got Batula. But remember, for all your Super 7 needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10% on all in-stock items, and of course, anything over $39 does ship free. We gotta get a deal out there, and that's exactly what I did here on Batula, as he did go in-stock in Entertainment Earth. I ordered him, got free shipping and 10% off. Gotta do it, gotta get a deal. You guys know how it goes on the channel. This is a line I was kinda uh, on the fence about. I didn't pre-order them uh, earlier, ahead of time. I just kinda waited, and I just kinda played a little of that long game. But I, they caught me at a weak moment, I pulled the trigger, and here we are today on the channel to unbox this one. But the worst line's an interesting one, as it is Super 7's own in-house brand, I guess you'd call it, where they make figures for G.I. Joe, Transformers, Ninja Turtles, Thundercats. You guys get the idea. They have licensing agreements with those companies to be able to do the Ninja Turtles, for example. Well, here they're in-house with these guys, and they can take creative liberties. Really, it's a blank canvas. They can do whatever they want. They don't have to uh, answer to anybody else. And that's pretty cool for a company like Super 7, uh, and it's an interesting toy line. It'll be interesting to see how well these sell, because it's great to be able to do all that kind of stuff, but we do know properties like Thundercats, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Ninja Turtles... There's quite the fan base uh, looking for those. Where the worst, you're starting from scratch. You're starting with the Super 7 name, uh, but that's really all you're starting with. So it is really coming down to really cool figures. And the plan with these figures is, at least for me and maybe a lot of you guys as well, a little smoke and mirrors as these can blend in with other Ultimates. I'm thinking about some of these. Maybe I can blend them in with my G.I. Joe Ultimates when those come. Maybe some of the Ninja Turtle Ultimates. Maybe Thundercat Ultimates. Maybe on their own shelf by themselves. Uh, really, it's up to you and your imagination, I guess. But one thing we do know about our imagination is we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. And we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So the packaging, very similar to Super 7 Ultimate figures with the slipcase, the brown cover, all that fun stuff. Uh, but a very, very striking slipcase on this one. That is a beautiful piece of artwork right there. Uh, I love it. If you're a Dracula collector, you might want to dabble into this figure for sure because he does look pretty cool. Batula. Uh, looks like a bat slash Dracula. Batula. It makes all the sense in the world to me. He does look pretty good. Of course, you got Batula right there. Nothing too exciting anywhere else. Then on the back, it does say the worst. And then, of course, like normal, we got the slipcase. Bam, of course, save the packaging, gonna stick that off nice to the side, see you later. And then you get him right there. A very kind of coffin-like case, very, very ornate packaging on this one. Uh, but not having to pay some of the licensees out there, I think they got to spend a little bit more money in the details on the packaging in this one, I think, possibly. But some cool accessories here, we'll break all those down as we usually do. Got Bachelor on the bottom. The Bat Prince of Darkness, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of Ozzy Osbourne in some kind of ways as well. Uh, very strange. Uh, on the back, Bachelor. there's that same glamour shot. And then we got a big blurb for him, which you guys know, if anybody appreciates a blurb, it's old Kyle here. Uh, let's see what it says about the old Prince of Darkness here. Warning citizens, Batula, the unholy bat prince of darkness, stalks from dusk till dawn for fresh unknowing victims to satisfy his horrifying bloodlust. Stay indoors and ward away his evil with garlic wreaths and a crucifix, for the demonic, demonic thirst of the hideous creature cannot be slacked. Countless are his victims. Lucky are those who are drained of their lifeblood with terror frozen perpetually on their visage. Damned are those who once bitten are transformed into his nightmarish minions. Be warned, the vampire curse spreads even now throughout the land. None are safe. Death awaits the unwary. So very, very wordy back there. There are good guys, there are bad guys. Then there are the worst. So that's what it says back there. I'm going to pull him out. Uh-oh. Got a little little tape action. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just pull it all the way out. Pull it that way. Like so. Very cool red. Very Christmassy back here. That looks very Christmassy. And then we get the old plastic prison. There he is. There's old Bachelor in all of his glory. All right. Well, let me take this offline. Let me get him out. And we'll be back talking all things the worst Bachelor. 
All right, we got Bachelor out of the package, and let's start it off like we usually do in these reviews. Let's start off with the accessories here, and let's kick it off with, I guess, his hands. That hands is always a good place to start, as you guys know. He does got two Fists of Fury, of course. You never know when the undead uh, Count Dracula or Bachelor might throw some haymakers. So he does got some fists going on here, a little bit of hair on the top of the palms. Does have a ring on one of the hand. Got some nice sharp nails. Uh, very good grayish, bluish skin tone. Does look good right there. And then how about these other hands? The same kind of sculpting going on, but he truly is the worst, apparently. He's flipping the bird, the old two middle fingers, so you can choose your own hand adventure. That's a deep cut there, so if you want to put this on, have him flipping everybody off. Hey, more power to you. That's the kind of cool thing. That's something you couldn't do with the Ninja Turtles license, of course, but you can do with something like the worst. So that is pretty cool. Uh, neat there. Something entirely different. All right, next up, we do have a little, what is it called, like a goblet or something like that? Is that what these called? These old timey drink cups looks like something out of romania out of transylvania back in the day with the original dracula uh nice ornate gold colors with some red kind of jewels on it and then you got a little red substance inside i can only assume this is full of blood of the non-believers in there so that's probably what's going on uh, so you do have that, so we can drink out of that if he needs to. We continue on. We got a little uh, very, very King Diamond, another Super 7 property, but it looks almost like Melissa and the Bones uh, a little bit, a little bit there. But you got some bones going on, a big bone, and then uh, the skull right on the top of the bone. And then this does pull out, and what do you got? Oh, yes, you got a blade. So he's got a little hidden sword there. So a little hidden sword action. You hide it inside the bone. Choose your own adventure once again. Very cool, but I don't know... I guess we'll see in the glamour shots, but hopefully he's got enough hand room to hold on down there at the bottom. Uh, this might be a little hard to hold, and it is a little heavier, so it could wear down the joints a little bit, but we'll see. But this does look good, very bone color-like. Makes sense to me. We continue on. We do get a little book. Oh, who knows what this book's about. Got the upside down cross on there. You know, that means just total evil, total evil inside this book. Uh, this book does have a little guard there to kind of lock it down. Uh, but then the book does open up and you got a little secret spot here. You can put stuff in there, store stuff in there. And I guess I would assume it's for this little red vial. Uh, it looks almost like uh, it's Tabasco sauce or hot sauce or something like that. Or it's blood. Blood once again. It very well could be. You got a little bat logo on there. Bat on the top against the red. It almost looks like a bar of soap or deodorant or something like that, but that should fit right in here. Yes, it does. So you can put that in the in the book, and you can lock it away, a little secret hiding place there. If he needs a little shot of blood, if he's getting a little woozy, he pulls out this book, and he takes care of business. All right, we got two heads. We'll look at all the heads together here in a second. But let's take old Bachelor out and see what we got going on here. First thing you notice is this big, big cape. Uh, I'm going to pop this head off. I mean, you can see the cape, very cool here, very cool. But I'm gonna pop this head off so I can take the cape off. Head goes off very easily. I'm gonna pop this head back on, All right? So we'll take a look at this cape first. Very nice uh, cape, very nice cloth cape here. Uh, tons and tons of uh, wire in it to really be able to uh, just display it however you want. You can just, you know, really choose your own cape adventure with this one. But the wiring really brings this one to the next level. I uh, love the gold, kind of ornate, very uh, heavy chain going on here. Uh, nice gold against that red. But very, very cool flowing cape. Very cool cloth cape. One of the better capes I've probably seen this year, in all honesty. I really do like the cape on this one. Uh, very cool and does add to the whole Dracula kind of vibe we got going there. But a very cool cape. But we'll get that out of the way so we can look at the articulation, look at the figure a little bit deeper here. Uh, I guess let's start with these heads first. How about we'll start with the heads. Now the uh, stock head on here, I mean, it does look like a bat. The thing that gives it away is the bat ears, of course. Or I guess you could say mouse, but very bat-like ears. If there was no ears on there, you could probably say, hey, is this a wolf man? Uh, but he does look good, very furry, of course, and he does have kind of that wolfman fur, kind of almost the big sideburns you see in old-timey wolfman, but he's got gray hair throughout and even darker around the eyes. Uh, got some scary-looking eyes, as you can tell. Uh, got the big old vampire uh, teeth going on, except you got three up top, two down low, but you do definitely have two fangs going on. He does have a nose like a bat would have. And then you got the blue in the ears. Looks really good. This is kind of a mad, screaming-type head on him. Uh, but it does look good. I mean, it, and this is the only thing we can look off of is the artwork and stuff. It's not like, and once again, comparing it to some of the other properties where Lion-O, we've known since the 80s, we know what he's supposed to look like. They can take artistic liberties on this one because, hey, it's their own property, so they can do that. 
We do get some extra heads. This is a, an open mouth one, but a little bit more smiley. Uh, and he looks like, uh, I don't know, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles. Uh, who else wore this? Uh, I don't know. People that, you know, blind people usually wear these kind of big glasses, which I guess goes, again, you know, to the bat uh, myth mythos, the Dracula mythos out there that, you know, you got to wear sunglasses because you can't see the sun. He'll disintegrate. So he's got these crazy blocked out sunglasses. Those do look really good. The sunglasses are not removable, which I really do like. When you get three heads here, I'm fine with that being stuck in here, where if we only had one head, I'd want them to be removable, but this is totally fine for me. Uh, Color-wise, everything else is the same. Uh, just, once again, choose your own head adventure there. And then we get one of Bachelor where he's uh, done some things. He's went down that uh, dark tunnel. He's uh, obviously murdered somebody, and he's drank all their blood because he's got blood all mixed in the fur, things like that, blood over the teeth. Uh, it does look really, really good here. Is this the same head? Pretty close. I don't know. that. It's funny how the blood really makes it feel so much different, but it's pretty much the same head as this one, just with blood splatter effects. But it does look good. So if you want a violent design, you can do this. If you want one where he's uh, walking through the park with his sunglasses on, you can do that. Or you can have the uh, standard, just kind of regular head we have going on here with him. Uh, breaking down the articulation now on Bachelor here. Let's see what we got. So we got arms that go all the way around. We do got a bicep cut. We do get a single jointed elbow. You can go side to side, of course, in the elbow. Hands are movable back and forth, side to side. Typical hand articulation, of course. You do get the head that's removable. Head can go all the way around, so plenty of movement on the head. Not a ton of up and down on the head there, though. He does got the old hula hoop at the waist, uh, the upper waist there. And then nah, a little bit down low. Yeah, he does got down low. So he's got two there. And then you can do those big old Dracula Bachula splits if he needs to. No thigh cut, single jointed knees. Then you get the side to side like the elbows. And then you get the up and down on uh, the feet here. A little bit looseness in that right foot, but nothing dramatically terrible. He does got holes in his feet. So I guess we could do the ringside test right now. Ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Does Batula fit on a Mattel stand? He fits so-so. I mean, you can push him in there and he'll fit a little tight, but it's not the tightest, tightest fit we've seen before. Very interesting knees here. He's got a little bit of a front lean to the knees if you want him to, so you can do that. But I guess he is part bat, so bats obviously can fly and do some of that kind of stuff. Uh, breaking down the body on this guy, he is dressed to the nines. I guess he's dressed like uh, you'd imagine Dracula to be dressed. Uh, he got kind of the black suit going on, the three-piece suit with the red vest underneath. Got a famous bolo tie here, like a young Waylon Jennings. A uh, really good-looking bolo tie with an X and gold, all sculpted in here. Uh, he does got the cat, the uh, tails here, the old penguin tails, like a young penguin from the Batman uh, universe, I guess we'll call it. Looks really good. I do like that he has bare feet, once again, that match the hands. That does look really good. Uh, you could almost mix this up. I wonder if you could find some human feet and some human uh, hands that match in scale, maybe from uh, one of the other lines. Pop this head off, put something else, and you could really customize this guy if you really wanted to. Uh, but I really do like the looks of this guy. It's an interesting one because it's one of those ones I keep throwing it back in this video, and I guess it's the natural comparison, but the Ninja Turtles, Thundercats of the world, that's what we're used, we're used to in the Super 7 line. So this is really new ground being broken, and there is no blueprint. You can go whatever direction you want to go with something like this. Uh, so it is cool. I do like the direction. I do like the character. Uh, Verdict's still out on the second wave of the worst figures, but the first wave are characters that really resonate with me, and I think that's how I'll probably approach this line is I'll buy some of the ones I like that really look cool that I feel would look good in my collection others maybe not so well I'm just gonna pass on them and it's not one of those things where I got to feel like I have to complete the Ninja Turtle team because hey there's four turtles you can't just have three of them or, or whatever it may be this is one of those ones it's a standalone world you choose your own adventure with this and I do like that it's a very freeing collection is what this feels like to me uh, but very, very cool. Very first uh, one I've checked out of the worst line. And I got to say, I do like it. I do like this Bachelor figure. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You here for this? You like this guy? Uh, have you thought about this? Did you even know about these? Of course, they do have reaction figures of the worst as well. I'm sure those on Entertainment Earth as well. But a very, very cool first uh, interpretation, first go around the sun with this line for me. But you guys in the comments, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you picked these up or if you're planning on picking these up. Uh, of course, you made it this far. You might as well thumbs up the video. Give it the old thumbs up. Give it the old like. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Don't forget about the Patreon where we got videos every single day and then some. 
bonus content, early content, Q&As, giveaways, you name it, a lot going on on the Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget to hit me up on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Bachelor and the Worst, I'm Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.